So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. Now to get here, you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you're gonna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You're gonna repeat this three times. So you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you're gonna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then on the fourth time when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's gonna say that your PC did not start correctly, you're gonna click on advanced options. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. If you do not see command prompt, then you're gonna click on sim recovery options. Then it should appear right here. So you're gonna click on command prompt, and now this will come up. And then once you're in the command prompt, there's gonna be two things that we can try. So for the first method, you're gonna type in rstrui.exe, click on enter, and now this will come up. If you have any restore points enabled on your computer, then you're gonna click on next, and then go back to your restore point. This should then fix your problem. If you do not have a restore point, that's fine. We're gonna click on cancel. Now for the second method, you're gonna type in sfc space forward slash scan now, and I click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. Wait for this to load. I'm gonna skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And then once that's been done, we're now gonna type in chkdsk space full slash f space full slash r space c colon. Click on enter. You now want to run this scan as well. Wait for this to load. Now in my case, I've still got 14 minutes left on the scan, so I'm just gonna get off this now. But in your case, you wanna complete this whole scan. Wait for this scan to be finished. Now you wanna close out of command prompt. And now you wanna continue to Windows, and then the problem should be fixed.